Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. So we're in Jerstal, where we're going to check out some uh, jobs and then, uh, you know, either do them or just be on our way uh, back up to the northwest part of the map. Um, let me make sure that I've emptied out my inventory here. I'm pretty sure that I have. Yeah, although we are still hoarding way too much. Um, actually, you know what, here, let's get rid of, I don't need all these bolts. I'll keep the two with nine in them and I'll keep the two arrows that are mostly full. But that'll make some space. And I'm tempted to sell this hammer as well, but I might hang on to it for the time being. Okay. So anyways, we got a two skull mission here. Um, let's see, what are we looking at? 440 uh, up front. 90 per head, up to 30 heads. Wow, that's that could be a lot of money. Um, that could end up being over 3,000 crowns. Let's see, we want to be paid more per head, because that's where the real money is. He's not willing to budge. Uh, I'll accept the offer then. He wants me to patrol to Finsterwald, Schweikoff, and Jerstal. Um, let me think on that. I'm pretty sure those are all fairly close by, I just want to make sure. Uh, I know Finsterwald is, and Schweikoff should be as well. But uh, it's been a little while since I've recorded, so yeah, that's what I thought. I always forget the location of the map, but that's not too bad a distance. Although it is sort of back in the direction we came, which is not the direction I want to be headed. However, I think in this case it'll be worth it. Assuming we actually come across stuff to collect heads from. So I'll accept. Um, and let me just make sure that we are in combat shape here. No, we are most definitely not. So Merrick has leveled up. Um... Let's go with uh, a little bit more fatigue. We can only do one point at a time, unfortunately. Uh, a little bit of um, melee skill, a little bit of melee defense. And he doesn't get any more perks since he's beyond level 11. Uh, Wilric the Wild, however, does get access to perks. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit more fatigue. And then some melee skill and some melee defense doesn't seem like too terrible an idea. Although some range defense wouldn't go amiss either. Alright, and then for his perk, we're going to make him a shield expert. And then uh, you're probably going to sit on the sidelines for a little while here. I'm going to get Kali back in there. And then let's see, uh, Bertel is leveled up as well. That's his first level up. We'll give him a little bit more fatigue, some resolve is probably in order, but uh, he got the worst roll possible, so I think I'll pass on that for now. Uh, and instead I'll do some melee... actually no, I'll do some range skill and some hit points, since his melee defense roll wasn't that great either. So he's actually shaping up to potentially be a decent, um, maybe, uh, Axeman in the back line here. Since he has the potential to be decent at range skill, He's already got a little bit of melee proficiency, uh, and he has potential for high melee defense, which is good because without a shield, he's going to need it. Uh, for his perk, we're going to make him a student so that he levels up faster. And uh, he's going to be sitting on the sidelines for a little bit as well. We'll get um, Frank the Wild back in there. Uh, but he's Oh, no, he's already got some uh, throwing axes. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. We'll get your throwing axes back out. Alexander, let's get your crossbow out. Zephos, the martyr, we're going to get yours out as well. And then let's see, you really, really need fatigue, but you're getting really bad rolls. So I'll give you health, I'll give you range skill. And since literally every other roll you got was the minimum, except for initiative, uh, I guess I'll just give you fatigue, because that's what you need the most. And then for his perk... We are going to give him... Well, that's a tough one, because I don't want to give him a mastery yet until I am confident as to how I'm going to use him. So I guess I could give him quick hands. That would be helpful. I could make him a Colossus as well. Uh, I, You know what? I may go Colossus, just because I'm not sure how I want to spec him yet. I might leave him in this position. I could also make him into an archer. He's got enough range skill to do it. Uh, in fact, he's probably got, yeah, he's got better range skill than some of our dedicated archers. 
So that might be a consideration as well. The problem being, um, I usually give these guys crossbows and these guys actual bows. So I kind of have to pick one or the other. I guess I could put him here with a bow. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, he'll have to get new headgear, though. I'll just go Colossus for now. It'll make him a little bit more resilient. Which is always a good thing. And... Uh, let's see. Nobody in the... Uh, reserves here is unhappy, so I think we can leave them all out for now. And we'll just keep rolling with this party. So, let's... Start heading toward uh, Finsterwald, which uh, will lead us through Helloweer once again. Okay, we're coming up on our first stop, and oh, we've got some Brigand Hunters. Interesting. Uh, I haven't come across any of them yet. So they've got many Marksmen, which concerns me quite a bit. A few Raiders and a few War Dogs. Uh, that is potentially... I don't know if the dogs count toward our head count, but... Uh, I would assume at least 10 humans, so potentially 10 heads toward our, our head count. Maybe 12 if the dogs count. Let's uh, check in here first, and then we're going to go after these guys. I don't love the idea of fighting them in the forest, though. I'd rather be able to uh, close ground quicker and, you know, fight them in the open, where I can get up on their marksmen quicker. Let's see, maybe I can sort of... Oh, no, fall back. Let them uh, move a little bit. Let's see, can I kind of lure them out into the open? Yeah, head for like this spot. That's actually not better, but we'll see. I just don't love the idea of being in a big forest with a lot of choke points and them holding me back while their crosswomen rain, you know, hellfire on us. Uh, that'll be good enough. Okay, so it looks like we're fighting uphill, which is uh, pretty terrible, actually. And not at all what I was hoping for, but uh, I guess that's what I get. Eh, so far, so good. Alright, so we're obviously going to need to be the aggressor here. Um, I'm going to try to keep my archers... You know what? I'm going to have to just move as much as possible here, because if I uh, go uphill at all, it's going to require more action points. And so I won't be able to even get a quick shot off, so I may as well just try to get in as close as I can, uh, as soon as I can. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to hold the archers back. I'd rather advance the shields first. Um, you know, I think it's all our turns from here on out, so I guess you can go for it. Can you get to there? No. That's as far as you can make it. Well, go ahead and do that then. And technically, you can still fire, although you have no targets. Yeah, they're out of range. So, I guess you're just going to have to end your turn there. Uh, Alexander, you're going to do the same right here. Can you hit anybody? No, he's too high up. Uh, I guess you can move a bit closer, though. You know what? Go for it. Uh, Jora, get as far up as you can. Let's see. Christopher, do the same. Right there is fine, I guess. Hopefully Jora's not blocking any of our frontliners. He very well might be. Yeah, he actually is. Uh, can you get up to there? can't really get around that way, can you? This is going to get ugly, because we're going to be doing a lot of uphill fighting. But, uh, let's just go for it. Probably should have swapped your weapon while I was at it, but that'll be fine. We can do that on the next turn. Sinric, go ahead and wait for now. Uh, Frank, I want you moving up this side, if you can. Uh, as long as you leave room for Bram, I'm okay with that. I just want to make sure Bram gets up into the middle of this. So, actually, you know what? Hold off. I'll move you there instead. Because he can actually attack from the secondary line. Whereas the spearmen can't. They don't have any ranged weapons. Uh, let's get you over in that general direction. Casper, I'm going to start moving you this way. Let's see what the dogs do. They'll probably try to pin me in melee combat here. No, they're actually going to hold. Interesting. And it looks like their marksmen so far have not been able to do a whole lot to us, which is great. Uh, let's get you up as far as you can get. Sinric, uh, we'll do the same there. Just, you know, get up close. Um, stay there. 
and I wanted Frank in that spot since he can throw axes over the top. Dogs are continuing to hold, which is, again, pretty interesting. I don't know why they wouldn't just charge us. Uh, but I'm happy to fight on flat ground if that's what they want to do. That will actually allow me to flank them a bit as well. And maybe not. But if we put two strong characters on him, we can deal with him fairly quickly and then flood this area. Uh, and then over here, they have nobody capping this other than a random dog, so... Getting to him and, you know, potentially him shouldn't be too difficult. And so far, they're, uh... Ooh, that was a pretty rough one, but, uh... Other than that hit, they really haven't been able to do a whole lot of damage to us. Probably shouldn't have said that, because it... Occurs to me now that they'll probably start landing a few hits. Ooh, I didn't notice that boulder there. Actually, I think I can still slip through. God damn it. They love focus firing. Alright, Hartwig, uh, I'm going to have to bail you the hell out of there, unfortunately. You took too much damage. And it looks like it's finally our turn to get on the offensive here. You guys are going to wait, or at least you are. Alexander, uh, if you jump to there, you'll have three left. Oh, you can't get up right here. Alright, you're going to have to wait then. Jora, hop on up to there and see if you can deal with one of these war dogs. Uh, get that one, I guess. Oh, come on. Christopher, nobody's in range for you yet. Um, stay out of the way for now. Let's see. Sinric, you should be able to get up there. Uh, is there anybody else I could put? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I want you to get to there. That works for me. Callie, I'm going to jump you on up here. I'm going to have you swap to your flail. And should I go for a headshot? You know what? Just do a regular attack on the dog. God, they're dodgy. Frank, um, feel free to throw some axes over the top and see what you get. Apparently nothing. Uh, Arno, I want you to pin that dog in melee combat and leave room for Bram. There's a hit. Alright, Bram. Uh, get on up there. Get your hammer ready. And focus on him. Nicely done. Merrick, uh, can you get to there? Not quite. I guess start working your way around. Casper, I need you here. Let's try to take this dog out quickly. Okay, we're going to get a block and a dodge there. And a block and another block there. Get another torrent of uh, bolts sent our way in just a second. Zephos, let's get you up to here. And go ahead and shoot at him. Alexander, uh, I'm going to move you. Oh, you can't quite get up there. That's a shame. Uh, we'll get as close as you can then. That's fine. And then fire a bolt into... I mean, who are you most likely to hit? Apparently nobody. 13. Uh, fire into the crowd and see what happens. Christopher, can you even get a shot up there? No. Let's get you right there and here come the attacks from them so far the dogs haven't really been able to do a whole lot to us uh, hopefully the crosswomen remain the same way oh man they can still hit him well that sucks he's probably gonna die then I can't really back him off for a while he's actually after all of their characters unfortunately uh, maybe we'll get lucky. He's got to be out of range. Yeah, and he's continuing to back off. Uh, he is definitely in range, though. And he's going to miss. Okay. You definitely can't get an axe that far. So let's get you further back. And that should make you relatively safe. Uh, Zephos, time to get the old axe out and unfortunately that leaves you with two little uh, AP to attack so you're just gonna have to wait actually don't end your turn because I might be able to move you forward if somebody gets a kill Alexander hop on up and uh, swap to your axe that should allow you to attack this guy's shield and hopefully we can destroy that on the next turn uh, Jora 
Come on, man. I need you landing those. Christopher. Is it 32 across the board there? Looks like it. 56. Go for him. Nice. All right, Sinric. Get these dogs out of the way. There we go. Arno, I'm going to have you slide in next to this guy. And that will break him. So you should be able to move on in next to him. Prevent them from firing any more uh, bows, at least from that guy. Kali, try to get that dog out of the way if you can. Uh, and then Merrick, I need you to move up to here. You're going to have to fight this guy on low ground, but I imagine you'll be just fine. And then Casper, I need you to get to that crossbowman. Prevent him from firing at us. Uh, and then uh, Frank, just move up as far as you can, and we'll try to do something similar with you. Alright, Bram, can you get in there? No. Uh, in that case... Hmm. Just smite him, I guess. And then move in here next to the dog. That'll break the dog. So he'll die trying to get away. And then I'm going to move Zephos in... Or up to here and potentially into there if I can. So we've taken a few of their range characters out of range combat, which should help. Uh, they still got quite a few, though. So let's see, what's that guy going to do? He's going to go for Merrick. He's going to have to swap to a melee weapon. And uh, good luck hitting Casper. He's going to fall back. And then take a shot at Merrick, which is going to miss. This guy's going to have to join us in melee as well. Uh, Zephos, I need you there. And that'll allow you to help out with both of them. You just keep getting the hell out of the way. Let's see. Uh, Jora, can you get one past his shield right there? No? Let's see. Okay, he's going to switch to a war pick. That's a bit concerning. And that guy's going to continue to fall back. Can you hit him for me? 55% chance. No dice. Alright, Sinric, I'm going to move you up to here. You're going to be able to help out with that raider as well as uh, this marksman so let's see uh, start putting some hits on him he's probably the bigger threat at this point or no you should have no problem dealing with this guy in fact get rid of that dog for me oh you're gonna miss Alexander get rid of that shield uh, Merrick you should have a lot easier time with this guy now that he is shieldless Casper Keep laying into that marksman. Armor's almost gone. Uh, Bram, you're kind of stuck at the moment. Can I get you to maybe go after him? Because I don't need you sitting back fighting that dog. Uh, actually, Frank. You know what, Frank? Yeah, get to there. And Callie, I'm going to move you into that spot. And that's going to pull all of those guys into melee. And then down goes the dog as he tries to get away. Feel terrible, but uh, dog's got to go. So yeah, all these guys are going to have to jump into melee combat now. So it's really just uh, this marksman and this marksman here. Everybody else is stuck fighting me face to face. Two blocks there, that's what I like to see. Especially since he's got a kite shield, it's not quite as good for uh, melee. Let's see, hit him. Ah, come on. Uh, Jora, can you land a hit finally? There we go. There's our kill. Uh, go ahead and hop forward. And I guess I'll have you help out with this marksman. In fact, you know what? If you jump here, you'll be a little bit vulnerable to his attacks, but that'll give you a lot more targets. Is he going to flee again? No, he's going to take an aim shot at Frank. You just stay back where you are. Sinric, keep laying into this guy here. That is enough to break him. That's enough to kill him. Christopher, take a shot back there. It's really the only safe shot you have. Oh, nice. We got him. All right, Arno, slide into that spot. You're going to block Sinric, but uh, it will give you an opportunity to get some easy kills here. And then Merrick, you're going to jump up there and start attacking this guy. Casper, you've only got one target, so stay on him. Good job. Uh, Bram, swing around, and we'll try to cut off this guy's retreat. He's the only 
range character that can still uh, fire, and we're about to change that. So I'm going to send Frank in there to change things. And uh, let's see, 84, 74, go after him first. And Alexander, uh, hop on forward and take a swing at that guy. There we go. Okay. So yeah, they're pretty much screwed at this point. You just stay back. Zephos, I don't think you can attack him through the brush there, so you need to wait. Jora, go after him. Good job. Follow that up with another attack there. So there's two more kills for him. I'm going to bunny hop uh, Sinric to here. And then let's see. Christopher, you actually have a clear line of sight, so if you want to get the kill, go for it. No dice, though. Uh, Merrick, you're going to fight this guy on low ground. I'll put Arno right there, see if he can get the kill. Not quite. Bram, you're welcome to... Uh... Oh, you don't have enough AP. Never mind. Let's see, I'll move you out of the way. Frank, can you get it? Nice. So there we go. Uh, other than... Other than Hartwig, we got out of that more or less unscathed. Uh, a few guys took some damage, but he, you know, by far got the worst of it. Also, Bram leveled up. That's kind of a rare occurrence. I think he's like level 13. No, level 12 now. Uh, a little bit of loot, nothing of any real value to us, though. So let's see, we only got nine heads for that, because three of them were dogs. So the dogs don't count, unfortunately. But it's still nine heads, and, uh, you know, every combat is worth fighting for the XP alone. So let's see here. Uh, more fatigue never hurts. More resolve, in your case, doesn't hurt. And I guess I will give you some more melee skill, because that's kind of your thing, is crushing people with that hammer. Uh, let's get your throwing axes back out. And then I'm going to have Hartwig tag out for Vlad. And then let's see. Got a couple people that look like they need to get back into combat. So one of them being Jost. Uh, we'll swap him in for Frank, probably. And then Sorel needs to get back in there, too. Yeah, he's feeling useless in reserve. So, um, actually, let's handle that right now. So, Rel, I'm going to tag you in for Arno since Arno is a bit beat up. And do I have any armor to give you? No. So, I'm going to have to swap somebody else's gear out. So, let's see. Throw that stuff to the side. Um, actually, your gear is perfectly fine. So, here, take his stuff while you sit on the sidelines. And, Sorel, you're going to get... Uh, our nose stuff. And hopefully you won't feel so useless. Alright, and then Jost, we're going to put you in for Frank. And we're going to need to borrow all of his stuff. Because uh, I just don't have enough to really go around. So we'll do that. And in the meantime, I guess you can throw... Throw that on so you have, you know, something. And I guess you can repair... You know what? Repair that sword for me. That'll be helpful. So, Joss, let's get you into the better gear. That's looking pretty good. Okay. So now... Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to give somebody a helmet. Who is... I think Joss was wearing that. Yeah. So I have an extra helmet. In that case, uh, I'll keep... Where did he go? I'll keep Frank in his helmet there, just so I don't forget and give it to somebody else. Okay. So our next target is Schweikoff. We'll start heading there, uh, but we, I think, are out of time. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and uh, I'll meet up with you guys in Schweikoff, unless, of course, we uh, come across any other parties worth fighting in the next episode. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.